Welcome to JSA TV, where we're covering the latest stories, trends, and innovations from leaders in global connectivity, real estate, the channel, and the networks within. I'm Buffy Harakitis of JSA, and joining me today is Steve Ward. He is the CEO of CareGen. Steve, welcome to JSA TV. Yeah, Buffy, thank you for having me, and uh, thank you to all the viewers out there. Looking forward to the interview. Yeah, absolutely. So CareGen is a leader in helping organizations build affordable IT networks to empower solutions, empower success. Um, and it's your first time here on JSA TV, right? Yes, yes, most definitely. I'm, I'm excited. So uh, when I first heard about JSA TV, I was like, yeah, I definitely want to be a part of that. I think it's, a, it's an exciting uh, movement for sure. Yeah, we're excited to have you. Uh, so let's chat a little bit about yourself. Um, I know we just heard that you were from Kansas City, Missouri. Um, yes, I know you didn't want to talk about that, Buffy, <laughs> but yes, uh, definitely proud of uh, the hometown, Kansas City. Uh, born and raised in that area. For, you know, it's a, it's, a, it's a good small, a big city, I would say. Yeah, a yeah. winning city too, so yeah, congrats there on, on your Chiefs. Yeah, thank um, you. So let's talk a little bit more about CareGen and how it solves you know, these different challenges that are coming about in the industry, especially when it comes to IT networks. Yeah, yeah, I will. Thank you. Yeah, so I think when I very first started the uh, the company back in 2011, you know, I, I worked for a cable industry for 26 years of my life. So I really understood the broadband uh, side of the world, the margins, if you will. Uh, and so we were acquired by a company, uh, some people may know Suddenlink, uh, Optimum now. Uh, it, so that really kind of opened up the idea to go into this world uh, to help companies, uh, you know, solve solutions, you know, have uh, solutions uh, for them. Uh, look at the inner the data itself, and understand like there is you're probably because you're so big you don't even realize that you're overpaying a lot of times. So definitely going inside the the walls. I started in the hos hospital uh, medical field side. Uh, I found that was uh, kind of a niche. I uh, got to go and uh, meet some wonderful CIOs and help them save, you know, a lot of money on their data side. And then we then we got into the CCAS and we got into the UCAS and then all of a sudden we're doing the Wi-Fi networks and we're talking cybersecurity. So all of it just kind of the momentum built and you really got to understand that you're really helping uh, solve problems and solutions that they never even knew that there was existed at the time. Yeah. Yeah. And now you are here today. Uh, so your company is continuing to thrive and grow, yes. especially in this world of AI. Right. So it's a hot topic. It's a hot trend. I mean, you just were telling me a few minutes ago that if you're not already implementing it. You're way behind the curve. So I want to mm. give viewers a little bit more information about how your company is embracing AI um, and how you can support other organizations in their efforts to integrate AI into their networks. Yeah, I, 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 the AI topic to me is one of those where if you're not embracing it already, you know, you definitely need to get on, you know, the train uh, yeah. for sure. It, it's not like you have to like it. You don't have to really even necessarily understand it at this point, but you really need to start embracing it into how can it help me in my organization? Right. You know, a lot of people, they think, oh, it's going to replace um, all these seats. Um, I mean, it could do that but it probably is gonna also open up uh, more opportunities for people to have jobs in an organization that are that are basing uh, their knowledge on AI. Uh, so I, I basically went into AI thinking of, okay, I didn't necessarily understand it, but I really wanna learn more about it because I know it can be helpful. We were already using AI. Machine to machine learning has been around you know quite a while. So AI to me, uh, and again, this might not be the technical reason, but it's just uh, machine to machine learning, you know, on steroids, if you will. And it's so quick and fast. And there's so many different avenues that you can find a way that have AI help you in your day to day activities. You know, I look at it as like a new hire where you're training, you know, weeks and months at a time to try to make them a subject matter expert. Right. AI is able to do that like within minutes because they could have a conversation already come up, mm -hmm. have a screen dictating exactly not, not what to say, but how to say how it to even, say it, right. what the details need to be. So I, I'm excited for AI, and I hope uh, everyone gives it a chance and learn a little bit more how to let it help them. Yeah, how to embrace it, right? Yes. It's not going anywhere. No, it's yeah. definitely not, it's not going, going anywhere. not going anywhere. Yeah. I mean, it's here everywhere uh, throughout the show. I mean, just about every conference that I've been at this year, it's the number yeah. one topic. So it's hot, hot topic. Yeah. So, I mean, I can't believe we're already about to round out 
the first quarter of 2024. Crazy. I mean, that went by like that, right? Yes, it did. Yeah. So what exciting things you have on the horizon for the rest of the year? Yeah, I've been really fortunate. Um, I got into this uh, writing feasibility studies and helping uh, write grants uh, okay. into on top of what, everything else that was going on in the channel. Like there's so many exciting things at the channel uh, that could do for them. But I had an opportunity to work with the, um, the Avapai Apache Nation out in uh, Arizona. And I'm helping them build fiber networks into the reservation. Wow. Yeah, so it, it really makes me feel good that I'm able to go out and help. Um, you know, I'm pretty sure the grant's probably going to come through and we're going to go build fiber to the home in a reservation where most people wouldn't even look to go build, uh, you know, fiber. And it's going to, it'll change uh, their lives. Um, you know, it, we're going to create jobs. They're going to be their own, you know, uh, MSP, if you will. You know, they'll, they'll be their own internet provider for right. all, all these things. So the, the community itself, the tribal council has been great to work with. Um, and I hope that I can do that um, more and more into that. So now it's kind of like my passion to go out and, and help these reservations and the tribal councils uh, build fiber networks. That's really impressive. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, I'm excited to learn more and stay up to date on all these exciting developments that you have in putting the fiber uh, into yeah. place and the bridging that digital divide. Yeah, and of course we'll bring all, you know, we'll bring the the channel with us, right? Uh, we're going to need a lot of services and network and, and uh, data. It's, so all that's going to play into building them, getting their them whole, creating jobs, and all along supporting the channel and, and what we do every day. Yeah, you can bring JSA TV there. That's right. We'll bring, and we absolutely, we'll do that. And uh, launch that initiative when it's ready, maybe. I would love to do that. Sounds for fun sure. to me. Is there anything else you want to add? Uh, no, just, uh, you know, go Chiefs, I guess, is that? Go Eagles. <laughs> anyway, it was so nice to meet you here, Steve. Yeah. Um, thanks for sharing so much great information about that initiative that you're working on and bringing the fiber uh, to those reservations. I think it's a very important thing that you're doing and you're bringing the channel with you and maybe even JSA TV. Well, I'd love to have them come uh, along, absolutely. So so that's amazing. So thank you for sharing that. Mm. More information about your company, CareGen, and all the great things that you're doing there um, and embracing AI, of course. Yes, absolutely. So thank you very much and thank the audience uh, for having patience to listen to me uh, ramble on. Of so. course. So where can viewers go if they want to learn more? I, you know, www.caregen, and that's with a G, not a J. So caregengroup.com. Uh, Steve, again, absolutely a pleasure uh, to meet you today and to speak to you Likewise, about all the it. great initiatives that you're doing. And thank you, viewers, for tuning in to another episode of JSA TV live from Channel Partners 2024 in fabulous Las Vegas. Stay curious, stay connected, and happy networking.